Welcome back to the chat room. We are talking about dating because if you heard about Martha Stewart joining Match.com, it has meant so much to that site. There is a surge in people joining Match.com, reportedly, the 50-plus age bracket especially. So we want to talk about this. Bella Gandhi is joining us here. She's from Smart Dating Academy, the founder. And Bella, I think it's interesting to all of us that, uh, first of all, the Martha Stewart has to use Match.com, but second, right. that this reaction has happened. What do you make of it? It's amazing. Well, one of the biggest growing segments for dating in general, including Match.com, including Smart Dating Academy, is singles that are 50 plus. Wow. In fact, so much so that Match has now a dedicated website for singles 50 and over called Our Time. And I know for us, it's a very big growing segment as well. Everyone wants to find love, including Martha Stewart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, seriously, when okay. I heard that Martha joined Match, I thought, come on, someone with her financial, you know, wherewithal, why would she not use like one of these executive, very selective uh, dating services? And I was like, is Match paying her to do this, like on the down low, right. so that it why increases she their use awareness? Bella Gandhi, right? Right, 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 right. right. exactly. So we have you, a meeting this afternoon. We're meeting serious? for coffee. Do you think I it's serious? I do, actually. I spent yes. a day with yes. her about a year and a half ago, and we, we shopped Macy's together, and then we did an event together. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, from personal experience, that she's delightful and she's playful yeah. and funny and she has a sense of humor about herself. She joked about the whole jail thing. I mean, she's, I, I, I'm a big fan. And the other thing I'll say is at 71, mm -hmm. she's one of the most spectacular looking women I have she's ever seen at any time. Uh, up close, she's, she is gorgeous. Which gets yeah. us to this other thing. Let's take a look yeah. at that profile was just popped up, okay? okay? And this is helpful to everybody on Match because Bella's got a lot of, you've got a take on this, that she doesn't put her profile together very well. She shows pictures of herself that are too serious. She doesn't show full body shots, right? You need to you need to beef it up a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, one of the most important things I tell all singles, anybody, men and women, is you need great shots of you looking at the camera, good eye contact, and big, approachable, warm smiles, especially when you're someone like Martha Stewart who might intimidate people. You want to look more approachable and friendly, and head-to-toe shots are critical. Mm -hmm. okay. Critical. She, she does have a really strong presence. I mean, I certainly yeah. have spent my share of time with her as well, and I mean, out at her at her place her big studio house farm whatever and she has a really strong presence so it's going to take a really strong man to you know to match up with her on match and i just still i'm, I'm not buying that match was her only <laughs> option i'm just not she's got uh, lots of options yeah. she has some options well what, and, what would you recommend in general though about profiles give us some more tips because i don't think I, i've often looked at my friends profiles I'm like that doesn't describe you that's not who you are and you must see that a lot oh yeah absolutely i mean one of the most important things in your profile profile is to be very specific about yourself. Instead of mm. saying, I'm kind, I'm adventurous, I'm just as comfortable in jeans as I am in a ballroom gown, that is what everybody says. Think about yourself in a set of experiences. I would say one to two sentence, brief little stories that capture your essence are going to make you stand out, differentiate yourself, and give the person who is potentially interested in you something to, to start a conversation with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You guys, did you see this too? Match.com did a survey. Who you'd yeah. like to see on the site? And 34% of singles said they want to see Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence. Yeah. I'm Jennifer surprised it's only 34%. I know, I know. I'm surprised. I know. She looks surprised in that shot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys surprised by that? It's mean, because she seems mm -hmm. normal and yeah. dateable yep. and, and approachable. Girl she doesn't, next see, door. Yes, That's she exactly doesn't seem right. like a crazy celebrity type. Ryan That's exactly Seacrest right. also on the list. You guys surprised about that? I'm not so surprised about that one. I mean, he's cute. He's fun. You know, if I were single, I would certainly like search out somebody like him Quite on eligible. Match. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He is my height, though. Having <laughs> <laughs> one a few years ago, he's about... Oh, yeah. oh my God. So I know that's uh -huh. hard. Maybe well, then he'll lie and he'll say he's 5'9", like all men do on Match.com. They match. totally tell 99 stories. 99% of women, no matter if they're 4'9", or 5'9", start their height search at 5'10". Really? It's one of the biggest ways I get women that are more my height. I'm 5'3". Cast your net wider. Start out an inch above your height like Martha Stewart did. She's 5'9". <laughs> she started at 5'10". I'd probably tell her, start at 5'9 if you can. When right. I was single, mm -hmm. I'm 5'3", and when I was mm -hmm. single, I noticed that my dating mm -hmm. pool was enormous because yes. it was like the short guys wanted to take me and, and the tall guys. guys. And, right. and totally. I thought, you know, that's right. you have it's just an oh, incredible pool goodness, to choose funny. from. we yeah. got to talk about that's spotting funny. fakes because this new study just came out that said <laughs> over 40 million Americans have uh, fake profiles up. There's something about them that's fake. It's either, you know, this is from seeking SeekingArrangement.com and they said that, you know, they're frauds. They're basically either lying about their marital status or lying about their height or lying about something. And how do you spot that stuff? 
Well, one of the big things is I always advise my clients, number one, I see it very, very, very rarely, get on a reputable site. I, you know, And it's always hard to say, but I always put my client on paid sites because you're going to eliminate a lot of riffraff just by doing that. And remember, there are over 1,500 registered online dating websites. So there are wow. a lot of sites at this point. So if somebody's emailing you from another country saying, oh, I'm coming home soon, I can't wait to meet you, I always say, you know what, delete that. That profile I and that's know. where a lot of fraud it's like I'm the king of Ethiopia and <laughs> you have an inheritance coming to you if you get that on on plenty of fish delete that delete profile it. Delete. I would say from a fraud standpoint one thing I've heard from so many of my girlfriends oh my is gosh. that these guys they join a dating site and they, they meet someone and they get into an exclusive relationship but they stay on because it's too much fun to be looking for new girls every day so I've had so many friends think they're in a committed relationship and then yep. they find out the guy is still on the dating sites and I think that's a kind of fraud if you're if yes. you're looking for yes. Someone. Absolutely. It's bad for it's bad for the girl who's dating him, but it's bad for all the girls who see the continue to see the profile right. and reach out because you right. think that the person is available. Yes, yep. it's one yes. button. Hide your profile. Right? Hide your profile. You oh, yeah, instead. exactly. And you can now see on many of the sites if someone has been online. So if you think you're wow. exclusive with someone, all you have to you do is type help. in his username and say, right. "Oh, he's online now." That's not a good sign. Oh my God, <laughs> Smart Dating Academy. Thank you for coming by the chat room, Susanna Rochelle. As always, up next here we're going to help you show some love to the teachers who help kids each and every day. It's Teacher Appreciation Week, and there's got to be a teacher in your past, so you need to reach out to and say thank you. We're back in a moment here. More of Good Day Chicago.